Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome! My name is Monica, and today I think I have my most exciting panning update ever. Ever. I'm probably gonna put this in the title, but I hit seven new pans this month. Seven. I actually had to go back and watch my last update for my Pan That Palette because I kind of, like, I've been working with this nearly every day. I've been working from home, I've been under quarantine, and I've just been not neglecting my other palettes but i've been really focusing on this palette and it's paid off and it's there's you know, it's a huge difference so yeah so i had to go back and rewatch just to see so my last update i had three pans i had one shade that was completely used up and then i had two pans now i have 10 pans which means i am according to my original goal i'm more than halfway done because my original goal was just to hit pan in every shade in this palette that's kind of crazy to actually hear myself say out loud. <laughs> so in addition to my normal update, I did film the look that I am wearing right now, which has been my go-to look. So before we jump into the rest of the update, let's go ahead and show the slideshow of my progress on this palette so far. And this is my palette now. You see all of those pans? <sighs> so we've got a new pan here, 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 here. I just hit pan on this this morning. Like you can see it right there. I hit pan on that while I was filming the look I'm wearing right now. <sighs> and I, we got pan over here, that one too. Look at this. Oh, I'm just going to leave this up for a minute. Just mm. it's so satisfying. So we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> so let's see, how do I, let's start with the top row. So my go-to neutral look that I was using a lot when I actually had to go into the office and work, which is a combination of like this top neutral row. Um, ooh, I just got shadow all over my hands. But um, I had kind of one or two looks using these, sh these shadows that I liked a lot. And they were easy, quick, kind of go-to looks I could do. So I just kept doing those same looks over and over. Like, until I basically hit pan in every single shade here. <laughs> I'm not sad that I did that, because it was definitely a way for me to make these work for me. In a, a look that was easy for me to go to. At first, maybe it was keeping me from being creative, but like later on, once I hit all these pans, I really expanded into the second row, and I played a lot more. So, it might have been a bit boring at first, but it's worth it to see all of these pans. <sighs> I'm just so happy. So, all of those. Um, the shimmer, I uh, mainly was using the shimmers the way I described in my last update video, either using the NYX Pencil and Cottage Cheese as a primer, or by using one of the Stila Glitter Ink Glows, which I did use for this look today as a primer before putting on one of these shimmers. And because of that, like, I don't know, method, if you want to call it that, I was able to hit pan on two of the shimmers. Two out of three of the shimmers. The only shimmer I haven't really used a lot is this one, but that's because I was really focusing, again, on the neutral, so I was using the shimmer a lot. And then... Once I hit those, I jump straight into this quad right here. I was working a lot on these shades, and at first I decided to do like a light kind of purpley look, so I was using like this as my transition, this to deepen it up, and then I was using pink on the lower lash line. That looked really pretty. I think I have a picture of that on my Instagram page, but I, I just liked how pink looked on my lower lash line. I also did a couple of neutral looks, like when I was doing neutral down here, I also popped in with the pink, which is why I think I hit um, pan on the pink so quickly, because I was using it a lot on my lower lash line, and it looked really pretty. But it does stain. <laughs> Warning, if you have this palette, basically, except for the neutral, anything that's not a neutral shade in this palette stains. And it stains for a full 24 hours. So if you're someone who doesn't wear makeup, like, every day, and that would, you know, bother you, stay away from those shades. Because it doesn't matter what primers you use, what makeup, what makeup removers you use, it's going to be stained. But that's how I was able to hit pan on the pink, and then I was really just 
focusing on this quad right here, which is the look that I'm wearing right now, with the exception of this shade. I only bring this shade in every now and then, but I like to use this as my transition, this to deepen it up, and then, or this in my like crease, and then this to deepen up the outer V. So that's the look that I filmed today. So before I keep talking, let's go ahead and jump to real quick how I got this look. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be her. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life. What's on the show? What's under this subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that a feature. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that a feature. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso, she brushing against my hands. See you from around the way, you didn't give me the time of day. You be making moves that yeah, who really care what Simon say? All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back. You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that. Louis V scarf for I'm chilling with a dad. Whoa, slow it down like that. Just hold me down like that. So that was the look that I'm wearing right now, and this is the look I've been going back to almost every day for like the, at least the last two weeks. Like I've just really liked this look. It's nice. It shows up nice on webcams. It's really pretty. And that's also what got me to hit pan on that pink shimmer shade. I was using this a lot. It just matches perfectly. Like those shades like in this palette, these shades don't look like they would match well. So it wasn't until I actually tried them on my eye that I realized how well, like especially these three shades, look together. If you have this palette, I would really recommend just trying a look out here with this is the transition, this in your crease, and this to deepen it up because it looks really pretty and it, it doesn't really look anything like it does in the pan. So it's a bit deceiving that way. And I think that's how it's going to be for a lot of these shades on the bottom row because they're deeper shades but it's hard to really see how they're gonna look on the eye when they're in the pan because they look so different when you actually apply them okay so i think that's every shade that i hit pan on the next one i think i'm going to hit pan on looking at it i think the purple i think i'm very close to hitting pan in this purple shade right here and then after that i really want to focus on this shimmer just to finish up that row too so I would have pan in like two full rows, which would be exciting. So I'm going to be experimenting with probably like these four shades right here that I haven't really been touching at all since I started this project. But now that I've made a lot of progress here, like I'm also more open to just experimenting and trying different things and just seeing what happens. Since I'm actually already more than halfway done with my original goal, which is just to hit pan in each shade, I may or may not 
I'll, I'll give it another month and see. I may or may not change my goal and try to use up some of the shades, but I don't know about that yet. Just because I knew like setting this goal was already kind of a, a lofty goal. And the only reason, I'm going to say, the only reason I think I'm doing so well so far is because I've been in quarantine. <laughs> And I've been working from home constantly. So I've had the room, I've had the time to do bold looks like this. Like I wear this now when I work because I'm working from home. I never would have been able to wear these looks. I never would have been able to hit pan on like the pink and all of these kind of deeper shades if I wasn't working from home like constantly. So I'm still debating whether or not I want to change my original goal. Part of me just wants to leave my goal as it was the way that I envisioned it and then just see how much of the palette I can use up by the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I'm still thinking about that, but what we will see. So yeah, that's it for my most exciting ever pan that palette or any project pan update ever. I have never ever ever hit seven pans in a month before. I'm pretty sure I have not done that before. So very exciting. I'm very proud of myself. I'm just gonna say it. I feel very happy. I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, I hope you guys are also doing well in your panning projects. If you're panning a palette, let me know down below if you have this palette and you want to try out the look that I'm wearing right now. Please let me know. If you take pictures on Instagram, tag me. I want to see your guys' looks. I want to talk to you. It's always a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.